this video, guys, I want to show you back to some of the SolidWorks basics with creating custom materials to add to your SolidWorks material library. With that said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share this video, and I'm going to put a free guide on SolidWorks basics link in the description. So watch out for that. Let's get started. So we've got a part example here with SOLIDWORKS pulled up. We have a currently assigned material 2014 alloy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to edit material. You can see our material database under SOLIDWORKS materials. What we can do is we're gonna right click anywhere in this material tree we can go to new library. It's going to ask us to save the file type and the name. We're going to just say material um, underscore in the material database. We'll go ahead and click save. You can see it created a new folder here in our little side tree here. We're going to go ahead and create a new category underneath. So it's nested underneath that folder. We can just call it mm, custom metals. Boom, it's right there now. And let's say instead of 2014 alley, we want to do zirconium. Oh, hey, I was just working on my exclusive SolidWorks video content, full length SolidWorks videos and more for my Patreon members only. It's well worth the money. I'm going to put the link in the description box and in the comments. Join my Patreon. Grow your SolidWorks career. So we have our custom metals subdirectory. We're going to right click again, new material. We're going to name it Zirconium. We have that selected now. And we can start filling in our properties from that website here. So we're going to go right down the line and just modify these values as shown from a trusted source on the material properties the mechanical properties and strengths here. We've got the thermal properties down below it. And once we are satisfied with all those, we can just hit save. <clears throat> we can, yeah, we can even change the units for the values we're entering. Um, just a minor point there, but um, a lot of configuring you can do for a custom material. You can even change its appearance. So in the appearance tab under metal, we can pull from an existing similar appearance like aluminum. If we want, we can tweak it. Different shades of gray, for example, whether it's textured or not. Really just minor stuff. The material properties is what's important to get from a good source and just fill in those fields so they match in the right units. We'll hit a save and apply. Now we can close out and you'll see the material updated. We now have the custom material zirconium in our library. So there you go. Brief introduction to creating custom materials in SOLIDWORKS. That'll do it for this video. Guys, if you haven't already, share this video. Look out for the link to a free SOLIDWORKS guide in the description. And we will see you next time.